Good morning, Sighted Daisy. Today's show includes information on Chat State, the talent show, and the death of a local news anchor. Let's get started with the pledge and a moment of silence. Brad from Chat State will be here one more time today during third block in the Media Center. Talent show auditions are April 23rd and 24th. If you're interested in auditioning, talk to Miss Boyson in room 115. And now, I'm McCully Minute. Good morning, Saudi Daisy. Hope everybody had a great weekend, uh, ready for a very, very important week. Just a reminder, tomorrow starts our state testing cycle. It's very important. Your teachers have worked very diligently to uh, prepare you for these tests. It's very important for you guys, very important for our school, very important for our community. Please, please, please be here in the morning. We will go to the first block in the morning. Tomorrow we're going to take English 9. Okay, it'll be the English 9, first part of English 9. So please be here on time. Students, throughout this testing process, if you are taking a test, English 9, English 10, U.S. History, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, Biology, do not have a cell phone on your person inside the testing room. If it is seen or if it is heard, it will be kept till the end of school. No questions asked. No questions asked. Please, please do not make us have to make that difficult decision. Leave your cell phones with your friend. Leave them in your backpack. Leave them somewhere, okay, so that they're not a distraction nor are they confiscated during the testing cycle. Please, please. Those t uh, pardon me. Students, if you're in a tested subject, the ones I just listed, please check with your teacher. They will let you know the testing date, testing location, okay? Tomorrow morning, we're going to start testing first thing in the morning. Should be done no later than 9, 930. We're not going to go to third period tomorrow. We're going to go uh, from first period to second period, and then from second to fourth, okay? Please, please, your teachers have a um, copy of the schedule as well. This is very important, guys. And also, remind, reminder, 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 just because we are testing, school has not stopped. All absences will be unexcused if you are not here. This does not mean you can come and go and do as you please. We still have over 30 instructional school student days left. Okay? Thanks a lot, Side Daisy High School. Have a great day. Longtime WRCB news anchor Bill Markham passed away early this morning from complications of ALS. Bill was the evening news and crime stoppers anchor for WRCP from 1983 until his retirement in 2009. After his retirement, Bill is very active in the annual Pat Boone Bethel Bible Village Golf Tournament and the Share Your Christmas Food Drive for the Chattanooga Area Food Bank. He is survived by a son and a daughter. At least eight people are dead and hundreds misplaced after a massive storm system swept through the southeast over the weekend. Natasha Chen is in Monroe County, Mississippi, where they are trying to clean up and comfort one another. Well, we're in front of the Hamilton Volunteer Fire Department where you can see there's so much damage. The staircase now goes nowhere and there's debris everywhere. The sheriff here says it looks like a storm came through Louisiana into Mississippi and exploded in Monroe County. Saw the trailer flown, flying over and land on their house. Then there was like a, a funnel that you could see the debris just going in it. A deadly storm system moving from Texas all the way up the East Coast killed several people over the weekend, including two children who were killed when a tree fell on their car. This is the unimaginable. Uh, you can't imagine that happening, a tree hitting a car while you're going down the road. So uh, it was very upsetting. Tornadoes damaged homes and businesses in Texas and Alabama. And in Mississippi, a tornado destroyed the only volunteer fire department in the small community of Hamilton. And it wasn't just tornadoes. High winds, hail, and torrential downpours also wreaked havoc, covering an area that put almost 90 million people under severe weather threat. For those impacted, they know the cleanup process has just begun and will take time. We've got a lot of trees down, a lot of debris, uh, so uh, it, it'll be several days. But, you know, we've got a lot of people that are, that are working and helping. At least 200 people are displaced in Texas. In the town of Alto, that's between Dallas and Houston, the officials there say that town is about 45% wiped off the map. 
in Hamilton, Mississippi. Natasha Chen, back to you. How's our weather shaping up? Let's toss it to Jake Love for the latest. Today, we'll have to endure chilly temperatures, but we will still have sunny skies. When we get out of school, temperatures are going to be in the high 50s, and our afternoon high will reach 62 degrees soon after. Skies are going to be sunny throughout the day. Tomorrow, we're going to have mostly sunny skies. Early morning temperatures will be in the upper 40s, but afternoon temperatures will be in the 70s with a high of 76. Looking ahead to the seven-day forecast, we're seeing afternoon thunderstorms Thursday, plus showers Friday and Saturday. The 2A student JROTC track teams that competed in the 124-mile Ragnar Trail Relay this weekend took first place and third place in this high school state division. The four-person teacher team that competed, including Selbo and Redland, won the Masters Ultra. Today, the tennis team will take on Red Bank. The Trojans will be celebrating senior night at Rivermont Park. The girls' team has successfully clinched the second place seed in the eastern side of the 6 AAA district and will advance to the district team semifinals. Trojan Baseball took part in the New Balance Chattanooga Baseball Classic over the weekend. The Trojans played a great baseball going 3-1 in the tournament. In the first game on Friday, Chris Branham gave up one hit in six and two-third innings to beat the Gwinnett Barons 1-0. In Saturday's games, the Trojans took on Tussle Memorial and held them to just one run while the men of Troy scored 11 and five innings. For the championship game, Saudi Daisy battled Signal Mountain and Zane Guest and Garrett Dent combined for no hitters against the Eagles. Behind the plate, the Trojans totaled 11 hits and finished the game quick, scoring 10 runs in just five innings. The Trojans scored 30 runs and only gave up six hits in the tournament, posting out two shoutouts. The men of Troy improved 14-8 to on the season and take on Walker Valley at home tonight. The Star Wars Celebration Fan Convention took place in Chicago over the weekend. There may have been a great disturbance in the forest after one news announcement. Rick Damigella has the details in the Hollywood, or rather, the Star Wars Minute. That's all for today's Sunday Daisy. Tune in tomorrow for more important announcements. Until then, have a good day and good news.